All right, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are, man, I think we're at day 18 now. And I'm at a crossroad. And that is, do I add more silver to it or do we shut it down? Like, I'm out of shot. I've run through all my impure shot. I have some of these smaller bars. There's another one, another smaller bar. But the problem with that is that the cathode clip will get kind of close to the electrolyte. So I can put the bars in, but I would have to have a bigger bar, you know, because I've dissolved the foot in my other one. And I don't want the solution to contact the alligator clips and pull any of that metal off or have any oxidation on those clips. So what I think we're going to do is go with a bigger bar. And man, we're going to keep this going. Uh, the cell's looking pretty good. The crystals are good. I had um, dropped the voltage down to one 0.01 volts and I'm running about 3.95 to 3.94 amps which loosely translate to about 0.3 watts sometimes 0.4 watts we've slowed down the wattage to increase the crystal growth and to keep it from being so uh, lacy in the lattice structure you know so I like the stout broccoli look and some of the longer crystals. And I feel that it grows too fast uh, at three volts and higher amperage. So I like to keep it under. And uh, you know, we still got a little bit of life in the cell. On some of this, you can see like an ion current. It's hard to describe, um, but there's a small current that you can see on some of it going from the anode to the crystals uh it's not as pronounced as i've seen in some of the other cells but it was there when i was staring at it after i got off work today anyway when we're going to come back we're going to put a bigger bar in i've made my mind up so that's it so we're going to see the bar i chose and it's a 234 gram it's one of the Thinner ones, I had, it's got great pore lines, but I had, you know, a little tab there. And, uh, I feel like I could pour some that are better than this. A little imperfection right there. So we're going to put this 234 gram bar, and we're going to use that for my anode bar. We're going to drop that into the basket. It's the... Um, anode bar I had, the foot's gone, and um, like I said, I'm running out of silver. I was thinking about using these two, but they're, they're kind of nice, man. And I might keep those for a little while till I get sick of looking at them and, and re or do something with them. But anyway, we're going to do a little work on this, and we're going to roll with it. Let's see how much we can get out of this cell. So we're back. There's the bar. We're going to let it roll and let's check the crystal growth out in the morning. But then let me get a top view. Let's see how far we can take this. This, uh, if I harvest on Sunday, it'll be batch number three, but I kind of want to see if I can get four or five batches out of it. The solution's still translucent. It's a little green. What I was thinking of doing is dropping it as like a silver chloride and uh, extracting the silver and getting some DMG to test for palladium or if that's just copper, you know. Anyway, we I feel like we still have a ways to go. That solution still looks good. And uh, I don't have to drop titrate with nitric yet. And I feel like we could probably go a couple more days before I top that solution off. But let me give you a side view there the crystals maybe I can get the light better sorry it's it's like an under ocean view there it's, uh, it's 
pretty sparkly. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll check it out in the morning.